Good evening. It's Saturday and I am doing a few more things before I prepare for sleep. Actually, so right now I'm trying to figure out whether I want to watch the third place match or not. It is taking place at 2 a.m. and it's actually between two teams I don't care about very much. So the finals is scheduled to start at 6 a.m. So two to six is quite a gap. I mean, I could always nap in between or maybe I really should just wake up because, you know, Dota 2 matches, exciting events don't happen all the time. So maybe I should take advantage of it being here. So tonight I've been doing a lot of thinking about the international and figuring out a place to stay for Rylai. And you know what? I kind of decided that I would just say fuck it and pay the inflated hotel price for that week. So right now, the international has not been announced yet, but I, <laughs> I actually made a hotel reservation for the first week of August because Historically, at least the past three years, it has been roughly around the same dates, um, like the first full week of August, that's what I think. And when I check these websites, that week has higher hotel prices than if I did the week after. So that kind of has me a little suspicious. Um, the good thing is that, you know, they don't charge me for any deposit. They just have my card on file and as long as I cancel before seven days or something, I have no fee whatsoever. So it does seem relatively risk-free and I just decided to, <laughs> I just decided to book it just in case I was correct. Last year they announced tickets on March 28th. So I would like to assume they kind of do it similarly this year where they will announce around that time or sooner, that would be great. But if I got my dates wrong, I could always adjust them or cancel them depending on the situation, if I manage to get tickets or not. Hopefully I do, cause I've never really gone through this process of trying to get event tickets. So hopefully me making the decision in wanting to go doesn't get hindered by not getting tickets. That would really suck. I mean, of course, if I'm making a trip, I don't wanna spend a boatload of money, but at the same time, I don't like complication, you know? Extra added stress from something being complicated and I know that you can do Airbnb, but I prefer hotels to Airbnb because Airbnbs just feel like it would differ depending on who you stay with and I just like the ease of checking in and out of a hotel. So this all kind of revolves around bringing Riley with me and I made sure to find a hotel that was pet friendly. <laughs> I, I like to plan things out because I get very concerned if I don't have everything figured out. But anyways, it's, it's really early. The event's not even announced yet, but I am banking on first week of August. So reservation is done and we'll see if I guessed correctly or not. Sorry for the noise, good morning. It is six on Sunday in the morning <laughs> and finals are gonna start soon. So I am doing some prep. I am making some tea. I'm gonna use my lovely little teapot. I have some jasmine tea. Ooh. Jasmine tea from Tenren, Taiwanese brand. So representing my actual nationality. My parents were born in Taiwan and we like to think of it as separate, or I do at least. Um, gotta take my little strainer out because I'm using tea bags. Alright, let's see. Alright, so right now it's just the beginning. They're talking about the teams. Uh, can't wait to see VP play and they won ESL 1 last year in Hamburg, I believe. And Oh my god, I uh, I have been saying the location wrong. I think it's Katowice. I've been saying Katowice. I, I actually didn't think that it would be like Weiss. 
but I heard the host say it earlier, so I was like, shit, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Yeah, I actually feel okay. Um, slept at like 10 to 11 p.m. I can't believe the weekend is over already after today. I mean, I have a whole day, but I tend to focus on, you know, what is impending, which is not the best way to view of it. But, uh, so, BP have gone through the lower bracket, maybe halfway. They were in the upper bracket for half. <laughs> And then they had to go through the lower bracket. So I think that they should have what it takes. The Chinese team is just very strong. So I gotta hope for them. Alrighty. Such a tiny little teacup. See how much it holds. Yes, I know. Microwave always yelling at me for not, not taking it out right away. And now we brew. We brew. I got my tea ready for the finals. They're still doing some talking before the draft start. Draft has started and Mercedes awful drafting screen. Oh, this drafting screen is so ugly. I can't stand it. Okay, I'm just about to head out to walk Riley, and guess what? VP1 ESL1 Katowice. Oh, that place sounds so weird. The pronunciation at least, but oh man, so incredible. I am so happy for them. They won three to one against BC Gaming, and this is the second major that they have won, also the second ESL event they've won, and they are looking so strong and that makes me that much more excited to attend TI this year. So I would like love to meet them or see them in person. It would be really, really cool. So uh, I have been thinking about planning this event since last night when I first decided that I wanted to go through with it. Oh my God, still five months until it's here, but I am so excited mainly because I never go anywhere, so it's nice to finally decide to do it. You know, when it comes to the motorcycle, sometimes I really need to get rid of those thoughts where it's like, oh, I haven't been using it, it's a waste of money if I just like let it sit there and don't actively use it, but I can't. I shouldn't view it that way because I bought it to enjoy it, and if I ride when it's cold, then, I, then I'm not enjoying it. So I'm still really thinking about whether I want to buy the heated gear. I think at first I would start off with a liner. So it would be just like a vest that you wear underneath your jacket. And I think you plug it into the bike somewhere and it's just heated. And I do think that should solve me getting cold because people make it sound like it's very, very um, efficient. And I've just never used anything like that before. So. Someone like me, I can imagine I would wear a heated liner every single day, even if it's hot outside, because it depends on where I go. A lot of the better places to ride are either higher elevation, where it's more windy, or just, I guess. I originally did want to ride today, but when I checked the weather, I was like, uh, I don't know. It really depends. Maybe when I go out for a walk, it'll be nice. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really want to force it because Usually when I go for a ride, I don't want to just ride local. I want to go somewhere nice and I want to enjoy it and just cruise along. So if I'm, if I go out like 20 minutes and then I'm like, shit, this is really cold, then that, that sucks. So now you can see how much thought goes into me wanting to ride. It does suck in a sense because I put so much thought into making the decision to, yeah, I'm going to ride, I'm going to put my stuff on and I'm going to go, mainly because of how cold it is. But anyways. Last thing, I kind of do feel like going out because I've been living Dota for since, I've been living Dota since Tuesday. So I think I'm going to see, and I, bleh, I think I'm gonna see Annihilation around one o'clock with Natalie Portman. Uh, I forget if this is the director or the writer of Ex Machina, but I did really enjoy that sci-fi. So this sci-fi looks definitely different and more action-packed. So I don't know what to expect. It's rated. Okay, never mind. Fuck ratings. I won't say the rating, but I'm kind of curious. I love sci-fi. Done well. So I am 
curious to try out. But I do want to walk Riley for a decent amount of time because it looks nice and um, I've just been kind of lazy to walk her far. So today I'm going to do it because I have a lot of time and I want to take care of her. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday and for anybody that even for a split second provided their hopes and good vibes and feelings towards Virtus Pro from my video or anything, <laughs> thank you because they won the event and I am so, so happy for them. So I'm going to head out now. decided that I was really, I've been overthinking riding like crazy. So, you know, it's, it's actually a pretty nice day out. Not above 70, but it is sunny and it's like decently breezy. So for the person that doesn't like it to be too hot, it is pretty nice outside. Um, I rode to eat some Panera before my movie. Originally, I was going to watch Annihilation, but I got the times mixed up. I thought it was going to be Showtime 12.55, so I left my house around 11.15 to 11.30, and when I got there, you know, I was gonna eat for an hour, maybe write down some plans for TI, and then read some of my book, but I didn't, I didn't wanna be there for two hours reading because I got my times wrong. The Showtime was actually at 1.55, so by the time I was done eating, I would still have two hours until showtime and there are just so many loud, obnoxious kids in Panera. It's awful. So I did not want to be around that. The area was also, a, it's like a movie theater near a mall. So kids everywhere and I don't like hearing them being loud. So I decided to replace my movie with Game Night. I'll choose to be really in depth with my review for that movie through my blog because I do feel like I'm able to like type things out easier than if I voice them. Um, I, when I watched the trailer, I thought it would be a garbage movie. The reviews say otherwise, but reviews mean nothing because a lot of people are entertained by simple things. So I did not like the movie. The plot was sloppy, sloppy writing because there are so many things that were easy, out of convenience. I honestly went into this movie knowing I wouldn't like it, but I tried to be open-minded. Um, there were a few times I laughed, but those few times of laughter doesn't make up for the fact that I think overall the movie is not good at all. So I would give it a two out of five, bumping it up from a one because I laughed a few times. All right, so forgive my appearance. I just finished watching The Space Between Us. The Space Between Us is a 6.4 on IMDb and it got really bad critic reviews, like less than 20%. So it was a movie that came out last year that I actually wanted to watch, but after those reviews and stuff, I decided not to because I assumed it wasn't a good movie. But the thing is, I finally decided to watch it today and I mean, I have to say, I really, I really liked it. Um, uh, I did read some reviews to see what people had issues with and people were saying there were plot holes, but personally, first off, I'm not a very sciencey person, so my knowledge of all of that stuff is very poor. So when it comes to storylines that involve science, and space travel and all that, I don't think I'm very picky about what information they give us. I guess there might have been science portions of the movie that people were not happy with, saying that it doesn't align with, I guess, what we know. But when they gave you that information in the movie, I feel like they did it in a way that, as a viewer that isn't very knowledgeable about this stuff, I just took it in 
and absorbed it and accepted it. So having that kind of open mind while watching the movie, small stuff like him traveling to Earth and then back to Mars didn't bother me. Some people were thinking about shit like, oh, where did the resources come from for him to travel so casually? And I like, I don't know. I don't, I didn't think about stuff like that. I personally enjoyed the movie because it's about a boy that was born on Mars who had been there since infancy and was only around scientists and was stuck there until he was a teenager. And then when he finally gets to Earth, he gets to discover all the beautiful things that Earth has to offer. And that is something that I really enjoyed watching the movie because he ends up taking a road trip a little bit and he is experiencing things for the first time, like rain. Um, you see like the beauty of Colorado. Man, the more I learn about Colorado or see pictures of Colorado, I freaking love it and I really really hope I get to visit there this year or the next because it looks gorgeous and it, it partially saddens me that Colorado might not be a viable place for me to live because of the cold and I am way too sensitive to the cold to ever live there but if I could ever visit there very conveniently that would be amazing because it is so beautiful there yeah it made me emotional a bit <laughs> I found a story touching and uh, yeah, now the weekend's over and I have to go back to work tomorrow. At least I get to look forward to a paycheck tomorrow. I'm actually really excited about that because I feel like I haven't gotten money in a while. <laughs> uh, switching jobs is, ugh, the transition can be tough. But, oh man, one month is so long to wait for my next paycheck. Monthly is gonna be tough, man. But I don't know. I don't know if people would prefer like that big chunk of money or like divide it in two and more often. Today was a great day for me. It started off with VP winning ESL one Catawise. I honestly can't. I can't get used to the way that's pronounced. It sounds so weird. But anyways, yeah. Them winning that was incredible. I have been big fans of them for uh, I feel like I've been a fan of their team for over a year now. I, I I would say that my favorite teams right now are Newbie and Virtus Pro, basically. So anytime they're at an event, I'm rooting for those two. If they ever played each other, that would be very, very tough because I don't really know who I would place higher. Um, maybe Virtus Pro because I feel like their play style and just like, uh, they just seem very cool to me and I know nothing about Russia. So like when I first kind of started recognizing their team, I was like, you know, I don't know anything about Russia. And only recently did I start watching some of those Russian films. So after watching some of them, I started to maybe catch on to like what their society is like. And I, I kind of feel silly saying that because it makes me sound ignorant, but I honestly didn't know much about them. I also, like I've mentioned before, I think it is so impressive that a young boy like Ramses is pretty much one of the best carries in the world right now. And then the entire team, I just feel like I like them. They seem very cool as people. Obviously, I don't know them very well, but that's just what I've gotten from them from seeing like these events. But uh, I guess at least for newbie, I guess I started getting into newbie during last year's TI7 and I guess maybe it is kind of natural for me to sort of latch on to a Chinese team because I am Chinese. I kind of feel like oftentimes I feel so disconnected from my culture, which I'm not a fan of, but it's kind of hard to work around that at times. Just in so many different aspects, it's kind of hard for me to connect with it in a way that interests me. So for example, I would love to watch more Chinese movies, but from past experience, um, I just think that the Chinese culture of film or just what society is like over there or what they like to see might be different than my preferences. I think I kind of explained that poorly, but basically what I mean is, at least for comedy, anytime they do films where there's like comedy, I tend to find it very corny, but 
my parents would like laugh a lot at it. So it's just it's just a divide. I I have liked Chinese movies before. They're just very rare. So for example, one of them is like The Curse of the Golden Flower by Zhang Yimou. Zhang Yimou. Zhang Yimou. I think that's how you say Zhang Yimou, which has uh, Zhou Jielun, Jie Chao, and uh, Zhou Renfa, Chao Yunfat. Sometimes I just, I, I really want to find that next really good Chinese movie that I really like, but they're so rare, so I can't, I can't get into my culture through film, TV shows, I, dramas, don't even get me started. Dramas just remind me of Korean dramas where they pretty much either try to make them a tearjerker, where the girl is sick, dying, two guys like one girl, two girls like one guy. I don't know, it's just always, I, I just tend to imagine all of the plot lines are like that, or they just have like a bitter ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend that tries to sabotage someone. I don't like those type of storylines, so I don't watch their shows. I do listen to the music, but I feel like I want more. So like, just for example, I don't hear Mandarin spoken very often, if ever, in my daily life. And I love Mandarin. I think it's such a beautiful language. I, I wished I was fluent in it. Anytime they interview one of the players or like I hear Mandarin spoken at these Dota 2 events, it kind of just makes me happy and it makes me feel connected to them. And I, I started liking the individual players on Newbie, so I guess it's kind of natural that they are pretty much like my other team that I really love to cheer for. The next event is next week. It is luckily in a time zone that I think suits me very well. From I, They are 10 hours ahead, so I would imagine if the events start at like 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., probably closer to 9 a.m., then that would just mean that it would start around the evening for me, like early evening, which is perfect, like right after I get off work, and then it will be late nights for me if I watch all the games, but you know how dedicated I am, guys. That's not an excuse for me not to watch them. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, and I will close out here.